Hi guys. Well, this video um, was intended to be uh, recorded in one day, um, but it has ended up being, um, it was filmed over a few days as you will see. And in fact, this is now part one of at least part a two part series. So, um, hope you enjoy and I'll catch you at the end. Cheers. Morning everyone, uh, I'm parked up in a lay-by um, south of Nottingham, um, stayed here last night. Um, I'll show you around. So guys, this is where I was uh, parked up last night. Uh, that's the main road at the bottom there, and this is like a long lay-by. Get quite a few vans on here if you wanted. Um, yeah, I didn't find this myself. I found it on on park for night. So, so yeah, um, uh, not a bad park up um, under the flight path. So there was uh, <laughs> planes going over, um, but they didn't really bother me. Um, they didn't wake me up. So uh, I just heard them in the, in the night before uh, before I went to sleep. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I had, I had plans of going for a walk today, but that's not happening now. Um, so what I thought I would do today, uh, as I'm off, uh, I'm going to have a bit of a drive around, um, try and find a few new park ups, just see what's about really. Um, I've not really planned this, just a, just a sudden idea. Um, and I'll just show you what I look for and um, what I like, don't like, sort of thing. Right, let's get going. Okay, so I've just found this. Um, can you see me? I've just found this uh, this road. It's just it's off the main A road. It runs like parallel to the A road, and um, I have passed it before, and thought, oh, so I have sort of known about it. I've never sort of been here. Um, I've just drove just drove along it and pulled up, and a big stretch. I mean, there's a couple of lorries here and they're parked up, a couple of vans, probably on the lunch break, um, and there's a, a bin as well, I noticed. So, uh, I'll, I'll get out, give you, give you a look, and, uh, yeah, see what you think. Okay, guys, that's me there, just parked up, uh, just pulled up. A nice stretch there, as I say, there's a few parked up, and there's a bin up there as well. A few houses just around that corner, and uh, say there's a hall there, and some houses there. But yeah, I'd stay there for the night, definitely. Yeah, when I'm away uh, on a trip, um, when I'm looking for a park up, I usually look on Park for Night and see what's uh, what's on there. I also look on Google Maps. Um, it's nice to have a couple of options just in case one isn't suitable or it's full which can happen I suppose with park for night especially at the weekends um, and of course when you're driving around the area you might just eye something up and think oh I could pop pop back to there later um, but it's always nice to have a couple of options in mind for when you park up okay so I found another one guys um, again it's um, it's just off the main A road um, so there would be some traffic noise here, um, but if push came to shove, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you around. It is. Uh, it's by a cemetery. It's a little pull-in by a cemetery. And cars park here for the cemetery, but there's no sign saying no parking. There's no gates. So um, again, I'd be happy to stay here for the night. Plus, being a cemetery good for water. I've had water from a cemetery before. Um, yeah, that's always an option. Right, I shall show you. And and there's a bin, because there is a, uh, a bus stop with a bin right just there. So that's good. Okay, that's me guys, and uh, save that cemetery. Uh, but yeah, I'd happily park here. That is a, a busy A road. And like I say, there's the bin. But there is no no parking signs. 
So again, that would be an option. Uh, not my first choice, but definitely an option. Well, I've just pulled up at a, uh, well, it's a country park by the river and um, I have stayed here before um, but I just thought I'd show you, it's the sort of thing that I've sort of looked for Right, I'll jump out and give you a quick look around Yeah, it's the country park and there's the River Trent and there's the country park over there so it's very popular in the daytime with uh, walkers and dog walkers uh, so yeah, that's another one that I would choose, and I have been here before. Yeah, it's always nice, obviously, when you're away on trips, or at any time, it's always nice to think you're you parked up with a, a stunning, glorious view to wake up to in the morning. But uh, in reality, that does not happen all the time. It does not happen a lot of the time, in fact. Uh, um, uh, if you're full time, then it uh, only happens now and again, really. Um, um, it depends. I mean, if you're uh, lucky enough not to be working, then perhaps you can get the good views more often. But if you, if you're like me and you work in a city, then you're often going to be parked up with a brick wall next to you, um, and that's the reality of van life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Okay, so I just pulled into one of these laybys, uh, which runs parallel um, to the main road. Um, a lot of truckers uh, use this one. Uh, there's a food van which parks here in the day as well, so it's very popular. Um, but yeah, I would definitely stay here for the night. Um, I have slept here um, after a night shift. I've slept here in the day before. Um, but yeah, another one. You see a lot of these dotted about. Another sort of thing I would look for if I was somewhere I didn't know. And again, Google for Maps, you see Google for Maps? <laughs> Google Maps, you see these uh, on there obviously. Um, yeah, I'll jump out and give you a quick look around. Yeah, like I say, it's very popular. Um, there's bins and also there's a uh, food van that parks down there, so that's always good. Um, if you wanted a snack, a coffee or something. But yeah, for a, for a park up at night, that would be fine. Yeah, I mean, a, a push come to shove, there's always um, laybys on the main sort of like A roads. Um, uh, but really, that's the last thing. I would be desperate um, to use one of those. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get on the country lanes or the side roads. Being a bit of urban, um, find the right place. Nothing wrong with a bit of urban parking, definitely. I just found this spot as I was driving, uh, just driving along. Um, and it looks all right. But, uh, I'll, give, I'll give you a look around. There's been, there's a bin. <laughs> there's a bin by the uh, bus stop over there. There's houses straight across the street. So whether that would be an issue, I don't know. But um, it's a nice place. There is a memorial here. Um, uh, so see the bus stop there uh, with the bin. Well, there's me, and uh, yeah, I say his house is across the street. 
Well, that's not bad for a park up, is it? No, oh, definitely. Okay, guys, this was my park up last night. Uh, just a car park by the river on the uh, on the edge of a village. Uh, bins, nice and flat, hard standing, obviously. Uh, nice and quiet. There was some um, boy racers here last night, on and off. Uh, but they, weren't, they were no bother, you know. Bit of music and a bit of laughing and yeah, a bit of revving engines. But they weren't they weren't a nuisance. They was all right. And that's uh, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, as long as they behave themselves, uh, they're entitled to be here as much as me. So. Uh, yeah, it was a good a good park up. So, uh, right, I'm gonna drive off in a minute and uh, see what else we can find. Right, folks, uh, another day. So we shall go and uh, I'll have a drive around. Um, there's lots of places on this side I don't know. So, see what we find. Might find a few park ups. Bit of a bit of a dull grey one today, so I'm happy to be sat in the van really. Right, let's go. Okay, so I've just found another lay by. Um, it's one of those just off the main A road with a, um, a food wagon, you know, a calf type thing. And uh, I won't get out filming it, they all look pretty much the same, don't they? Um, but like I say, you see these all over the place. Um, and the roads do quieten down at night, so uh, yeah, if I had to, I would stay somewhere like this. So I'd rather be on a country, more of a country lane. But yeah, it's another stop, isn't it? Right, let's crack on. Yeah, when I pull up into um, uh, a parking spot or a parking spot that I don't know, um, it's always worth. Um, just looking around for evidence of uh, the boy racer thing, you know, if you see lots of uh, McDonald's or other takeout um, rubbish lying around, um, you might think, well, perhaps at night it's going to be lots of uh, activity going on. Uh, you know, if it's lots of rubbish and lots of, uh, uh, I mean, I've not seen it, but I've heard people say they've parked up and found needles and things there syringes and stuff that's not good obviously so those you will obviously uh, keep clear of uh, it's worth just looking around when you park up to see what it looks like in the vicinity but of course if you pull up at uh, when it's dark you're not going to see this so um, but it's always worth keeping that in mind Okay, just got to another park up uh, that I have actually used before, um, but it is a good one. It's just off of a, uh, a little car park off of a road, um, popular with walkers and uh, dog walkers and such like. Um, but I'll jump out and, uh, and I'll show you around. Yeah, like I say, this is one that I've used before. Um, on a nice day, you get some nice views. Uh, but yeah, I say there's the road, just a bit of a car park. With the bin, of course. So that's good. Yeah, another quiet spot. Um, often, if you're driving through a village and uh, you park up by the church you know, at night, there's no one parks by the church really and uh, not much traffic um, so that's always a good idea and like I've done here I mean there are better park books by churches I must admit but I just saw this one and it sprung to mind so I'll show you around yeah but just to give you an idea say the church is there and uh, in, in a village location that's going to be pretty quiet isn't it at night 
Okay, so this is another spot <clears throat> just on a country lane uh, between two villages, really. And uh, you often find spots like this uh, popular with dog walkers, just little uh, pull offs side of the road. Uh, you find plenty of these. Yeah, and that's a, a good spot for the night. Also, you often find um, with the urban parking, if you're driving around the side streets, um, a corner property on one side of the house, obviously in the front, but on the side, you often find that uh, that's uh, available for parking, really. Um, like here, I will get out and show you. We've got a big hedge, so they can't see you, you can't see them. You're on the side of the property, so, yeah, no issues. There we go, that's the house there. That's the corner. Big hedge. Just down the, down the side of the garden, basically. Um, so, yeah, on a quiet street. I've parked in places like this before when I've been away. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Um, some of the park ups that I've just shown you, uh, obviously some I have used before, um, some I just came across. Um, in part two, I will be doing a lot more um, new park ups and places that I've not been to before. So uh, keep your eye out for that one. And uh, yeah, thumbs up will be nice. If you're not subscribed, Please feel free to do so, and uh, a comment and a share would be lovely. Right, catch you all later. Cheers.